So I'm about a kilometer away from my house and I've happened to meet with some people who are using a holiday home here that actually run a company that builds tents that you put in trees, tree tents. And when I heard about this idea, I thought it was absolutely fantastic and I wanted to show it to you. So I'm just gonna go up now into their garden so we can actually have a look at these tree tents. So they've got one set up here, in fact, they've got two set up here. Let's go closer to the first one so I can show it to you. Right, here we go, here we go. Look at this, look, here it is. That is, a, that is actually a giant hammock that you put up in a tree and they've got a tree tent that I'm gonna show you in a minute back there. So hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. If you wanna find out about tree tents and giant hammocks, please let me explain. <laughs> Now, before we look more at these tree tents, I just want to say I am not associated with this company in any way. I'm not being paid. This is not a paid uh, video in any way. They are literally some neighbors here that I saw had these tree tents and I thought it was a really good idea. So let's go and have a look. So basically the company makes two types of products. One is a giant hammock, which is this thing here, which can support up to 400 kilograms. That's three fully grown adults, fairly big adults like me. And they also have tree tents and they've got one set up here just in the trees. Let's go and have a look at that. Duck under here. Okay, here it is. There it is, a tree tent. Look at that, it's completely off the ground. Okay, you can go underneath there and it is suspended on the trees. And I'm gonna talk more about that uh, in a minute about all of the different uh, technologies behind that tensile strength and loadings and all that kind of stuff but I think this is a really really good invention. So the key thing about these tents of course is strength because of course imagine when you've got three people on there and they're moving around then you don't want the tent to rip, you don't want the support system to break, you want to feel comfortable and safe inside of these tents that are actually up off the ground and to do that they're doing two very important things. One is they're using a ripstop material that means it has a weave amongst the normal material that stops ripping from happening so you can actually use these things without with confidence and the second thing is they're using a kind of a seat belt material for the straps so really really strong straps that can take a lot of tension in fact they say that the the breaking point of these straps is 25 kilonewtons which is an amazing uh, amount of uh, stress that you can put on them Okay, so let's just talk about the engineering and some numbers for a moment. If we think about a normal hammock, so that's between two points, there are some factors that are, are very much involved. First, of course, is the weight of the person sitting inside of the hammock. There's obviously a difference in a child and a fully grown adult. Let's say for an adult, you might be talking 100 kilograms, you know, 200, 220 pounds in the American system. And that, of course, is a weight that is being pushed down. And that, of course, pulls in on the two supports. And the angle that those two supports are, the support straps also uh, plays uh, into the equations. And then, of course, there is the force that's pulled between the two points because you're pulling in here on the hammock and then of course there is a force pulling in between the two uh, anchor points. Now of course there's a difference between someone just laying still inside of a hammock and someone moving around inside of a hammock. As you move around you create a dynamic load as uh, compared to a static load. Now when you move over to a three anchor point system so like these uh, kind of hammocks, these tree hammocks that we're talking about, then things get even more complicated. But the engineers over at the manufacturers there have done their calculations and they say that with three uh, fully grown adults laying still inside of one of their tents or one of the tree hammocks, then there's a force of about 3.5 kilonewtons on each of the three anchor points. And then if there's actually, they're moving, you can imagine if you're actually out camping and one of you's kind of looking for your hat and one of you's rummaging around in his bag and the other one's kind of trying to shuffle down the tent to get out front door, then there's a dynamic load on there and that can increase up to 6.5 kilonewtons on each of the anchor points. So I did various bits of camping, particularly during my childhood. And the thing about having a tent that's up in the ground, look at this, look up in the ground, completely up in the ground. Now the advantage of that, of course, is that you don't have a problem with insects or snakes or anything like that. Of course, you don't have, whenever I used to pitch a tent, what used to happen is I always pitched it and there would be a stone exactly in the middle of my back. Of course, here, you're up in the air and you're gonna get a really smooth kind of uh, flat surface to sleep on. And then, of course, when it rains, the water often runs across a field 
runs across the campsite and of course it hits the tent but of course here it can rain as much as it like because the water just flows underneath it i wish i had these when i was a kid camping out in the forest and of course a vital thing of course is this ratchet system they've invented actually very similar to the ratchets you might get on kind of lorries or something like that it enables you with this hand lever system to actually create the tensile strength that you need to actually get these hammocks and tents up into the air it's got a double safety feature which is this cog here catches this lateral piece of metal and then also that catches as well so it can't go anywhere now this company is very very conscious about the trees that you attach these tents to they even have information about tree health picking the right trees and they also sponsor uh, a charities that plant trees so every time you buy one of these tents or buy one of these giant hammocks actually you're helping to plant trees in different places around the world I just want to make it clear this is not a sponsored video i'm not being paid for this video the name of the company is called tensile i'll leave a link in the description below and literally i came across them because they're staying here in a holiday home near my house but isn't it a fantastic idea just look at this the ability to have a giant hammock in your garden or a tent you can go camping and get yourself off the ground with all of those bumps and all the horrible things that go in your back and all the insects and snakes and spiders get away from all of them get yourself up in the trees Okay, so there you have it. My quick look at tree tents and giant hammocks. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and please tell me in the comments below what you think about tree tents. Do you think it's a good idea? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.